Hi, my name is Theo and today I will show you Eerie Sketch. Eerie Sketch is a web-based irrigation software and this video will give you a quick overview over the program's features. Today I want to show you how to create a new project. Let's start with a workshop of Eerie Sketch. With a big plus we create a new project. Here below we have five icons. The first one shows me some information about the project. With a pencil you can enter data about the project. The project name, the address and the customer's name or the name of the landscaper. Then add some keywords. This makes it much easier to find the project later. Add some notes about the project, such as water pressure and quantity or contact details of the customer. And now save and close. Next we have the project settings. Here we can set the size of the workspace of garden plan. The size depends on your membership. In the residential version 200 meters is pre-selected. In the basic version the size is limited up to 50 meter. In the residential version the limit is up to 500 meter. And the commercial version is limited up to 5000 meter. So when choosing a subscription it depends on whenever you are planning small to medium sized gardens or parks, golf courses or agriculture areas. Next we select the manufacturers we would like to plan with. The project becomes clearer if we make a pre-selection directly. Because otherwise all products from all manufacturers are displayed. So we select only one or two manufacturers. And confirm with save and close. We can duplicate a project to create a possibility to comparison. This makes sense if you want to show the customer several opinions for irrigation or compare prices from different manufacturers in the offer. We can delete a project with a garbage can icon. Now we open the project by clicking in the middle. Because Irisketch is web-based, we have always and everywhere the latest data about our project. Now we are in our workshop. The foundation is a chart paper, which our area of 200 square meters as we had set earlier. Each square in the chart corresponds to 5 meters. If we scroll in, smaller squares appear and correspond to 1 square meter. If we press and hold the mouse wheel, we can move the worksheet as we wish. Let's draw an object to show more opinions. On the top left we have the main menu. Below that is a toolbox. When we click on the object we have various informations about the object down here in the status bar. And down here on the left appears the operation bar, which allows us to edit the object. On the top right here is the system control panel. Here we can load, download or save the project. We can change basic settings for the project. This icon allows up to align objects. And here we can show or hide the grid. With this icon we can undo and redo actions. And with the ruler we can draw and measure guidelines. This icon allows us to center the plan if we zoomed in or out too far. Erase the entire work process. 
Here we got the network status. And with the cross we save and close the project. In the main menu we have the draw, which allows us to draw the plan in detail or insert existing images or plans. The irrigation menu comes with a toolbox, where you find for example the sprinkler and the drip lines. With the layout functions we have the possibility to design the plans further. The specs sheet will later show us all the equipment that will be needed to build the irrigation system. Now you know how to create a project. If you have any questions about EOD Sketch, don't hesitate to contact me. You can find information in the links to the video in the text box or on eriesketch.com.